Master Your Mindset Radio, Episode 63. Welcome to Master Your Mindset Radio, the show where we empower you to conquer limiting beliefs and transform your world with your gifting and purpose. Now for your host, Elizabeth Nader. Hi friends, welcome back to another episode. This episode is airing on Election Day 2020, which no matter when you listen to this, if it's even a year from now or longer, who knows how long all of this will stay online. Um, I believe Election Day 2020 will be one for the book. Certainly, we are all going through a lot in this country, and it's a big moment. And I want to talk to you about vision and destiny. You know, when I think about this country and I think about how amazing it is and how it was founded on such um, absolute dreams and visions and really just the sheer will will of good people with good ideas. And it wasn't obvious that this would work. It wasn't obvious that we could even win the Revolutionary War, but this country was founded really on destiny and vision. And I think that that is in our DNA as Americans. But you know, something has happened over the years. Something has happened, which happens to all mankind over time is people begin to lose the vision. They begin to lose a sense of destiny. And I think that a lot of people have been programmed to just accept and believe that they are average. Now, we definitely as a country are not average, right? I mean, sometimes we need to be reminded of that, of how blessed we are, how we are a beacon of light in this world, how we give more to other countries and people and charities throughout the world than anyone else. We're a generous nation, but we have our issues. But I think as, as, as mankind, as people, we have a tendency to lose our sight of vision and destiny because of the pain that we encounter, uh, encounter in life, because of the hurts that we go through. And we get programmed to think, believe, and accept that we are just average. And what is average? Is average good enough for you? Is average what you want to be? Is average something that you try to be, to aspire to be? Most people don't, but most people accept it as though that is their lot in life. And I would say to you that I disagree that anyone is average. I think all of us, each one of us, is made very uniquely on purpose for a purpose. I say that all the time, and I don't believe that any of us are meant to be average. So what does that mean? What does that mean if we're not meant to be average? That means we have to have a vision for our life. We have to have a sense of destiny and a sense of purpose. Without that feeling, then you just accept average. Without the sense that there's something bigger for you. And I don't mean to say that everyone has this vision and destiny of curing cancer or being president or you know, bringing world peace or whatever that is. It's not about that. It's about that unique vision and destiny for your life that's specific to you. That does not allow for you to be average. And in fact, no one is average. That's simply a condition and a state that you agree to be in. It is you who has decided to be average. It is not you who was born average. No one was. We each have those gifts inside of us that point to a specific purpose that then leads to a specific destiny. And it's something that unfolds throughout our life. It's something that is certainly a journey that we go on and we have our ups and our downs in that journey. But to accept average, to believe that you are average, to believe you're supposed to be average, or even that average is attractive, is to completely deny the potential that you have and completely really just ignore purpose and just ignore destiny. And to me, that's not living. And to me, that's what makes people so unhappy and unfulfilled and lost in life is the sense that they are just average or they were born to be average, but they've actually been programmed to be average. We are not meant to be that way. So to have vision is to know that you are greater than where you are today. Vision is always bigger than where we are today. So if you're feeling average right now, spend some time and get a vision for your life because vision is always bigger than where you are. If you're already on a journey of purpose and destiny, 
continue to grasp vision. Your vision should always be bigger than where you are today. It's a way of imagining the possibilities. It is a snapshot of your potential future. And by the way, this is where fear often attacks us, is in our vision for our destiny. And if we give in to fear, then we accept average. And that's really what happens. The pressure of fear makes us accept or even want average to avoid all the possible pain, frankly, that fear is threatening us with. The pain of potential failure, the pain of potentially you know, looking ridiculous, the pain of rejection, the pain of not getting it right the first time. Fear will make us run to average and embrace average, and I don't want you to do that. So for this podcast, not only do I want to encourage you that you are not average, and I want you to remember that on this election day 2020 in a country that is, is not even near average, in a country that is amazing, and you need to understand the vision and destiny of this country and be really awestruck by that. And I need you to feel awestruck about the possibility, vision, and destiny that's within you, each one of you. And in order to do that, you have to have vision. So what, what does that experience look like, reaching for vision, creating vision, seeking vision? How do you do that? How do you even begin to know what your destiny could be? How do you even begin to find purpose? Well, I'm just going to give you a few things to leave you really thinking today. That's what I want. I just want to deposit a few things in your heart that will make you consider what your destiny could be. Even if, you know, you're really at the beginning, even if you're at the average stage or perhaps you're already pursuing purpose, but you're not sure how big that vision could be or you're not sure how big that destiny possibly could be. I want to just put some things in your mind, in your heart that will help you understand what you were made for. So one thing to think about is, what is the deepest desire of your heart? Have you ever spent time thinking that? What is it the one thing that you constantly think about? What is the one thing that if you could change in this world, you would? And it's related to something you could possibly do. It's related to gifts that you have, because that is often a sign of where your destiny is meant to be. The things that really stir your passions, the things that really make you sit up and take notice, the things you care about. I can tell you for me, one thing that really stirs me is I have such a desire for people to know the truth about themselves and their potential. And that desire makes me want to help people develop a vision for their life through the power of mindset. So all of that coming together makes me understand what my purpose is and can be and what the potential destiny is around that. And it has so many different aspects to it, but knowing that that's what drives me, helps me understand who I am, helps me understand why I am, and helps me say no to the wrong things and yes to the right things. So you need to think about what is the deepest desire of your heart. And it it can be very specific, but it has an implication that says, When you chase that, you can change the world around you. Not necessarily the whole world, but the world around you by using the gifts that were put inside of you. And that desire, that deep desire of your heart, that means you are not average. That means that you were put here to do something and that you need to figure that out and chase that. And what stirs your passion and what flows naturally out of you. That's another thing I want you to think about. You are not average. There's something that flows naturally out of you that doesn't flow out of someone else. And that makes you very much unique and very much not average. We each have something that's different than the other person. And when you notice someone operating in their gifts, when you notice somebody who is really embracing the way they were made and chasing that gift and generating talent from that and working on that talent, it always captures your attention. It always does. It's the, the, the easy examples are in you know the sports world or the business world, the people that are high achievers. But the truth is everywhere around you, there are people who are chasing their talents by developing their more with the gifts that they have inside of them. And therefore, their purpose is evolving. Their destiny is happening. And you are drawn to people like that naturally. And everyone should be like that. Every one of us has within us 
the ability to do things differently and brilliantly more so than someone else, a very specific thing, a very specific thing. So what is it that flows naturally out of you? And when you do that thing, you produce what we we say, you produce fruit in your life, you produce results. Where do you easily produce results? Not just for yourself, but for other people. If someone is very, very good at sales, they produce results there. And there's a reason they're good at it. Maybe they're good at public speaking or convincing people you know, to, to see things their way. Maybe that that means that they have a potential you know, on some kind of platform, maybe in politics or in some way to help people out with, with you know, bigger issues, that they have a bigger stage. When you have areas in your life that things flow out of you naturally, you can do it so easily. And not only that, it brings results. That is a huge sign of where your purpose is and therefore how your destiny could be attached to that. So you need to look at that and understand that it's not random that people want to gather around you when you're operating in that gift or that people are drawn to you when that thing that you do so easily happens or that people recognize that you produce results in your life. None of that makes you average. What about that is average? Nothing. And each one of you listening right now, even if you question it, I promise you, has something inside of you that you can do better than anyone else. It's all different from each other, but it's all unique. So there is nothing average about that. If you have believed the lie that you are average, or you have believed the lie that being average relieves you from the duty of doing anything difficult, then you are accepting a life way beneath where you were meant to live. You were accepting to experience life in a way that you were never created to. You are usurping the possibilities in your life and you are simply not bringing your gifts to this world and not bringing those things that would change life for people around you for the better. You're not bringing them to fruition. You are really ignoring that which you were created to do. So I want you to consider that we all struggle to find this, but we all must find it. And each of us has that uniqueness inside of us. You are not average. You were not created to be average. And the world programming that tells you that average is okay, you need to push back on that. And you need to recognize that it's okay to look in the mirror and say, I am way above average. And why was I created? What is my why? What is the reason? What is it about me? What is it inside of me that I can give back to the world that comes easy for me? What gifts can I work on and develop into talents? And how can I use those to change my world? And from all of that, the clarity that comes is you start to see purpose and you start to see the connections between what you do and who you are and why you do it. And from the clarity of purpose, destiny begins to form. And you know what? We experience destiny all along the way as long as we're living. It's not something, it's not a destination that we get to, it's an experience that we have. And until we take our last breath, we are continuing to experience destiny. And then the story is told, right? And we do that all the time in history. We tell the story of someone and we look at their life and we look at the gifts they brought and the challenges they had and the talents they developed and the purpose that they pursued and the destiny ultimately they experienced. And it's easy to tell that story once somebody's gone, but when you're in it, when you're here, you have to keep fighting for that. You are not average. You are not meant to be average. You are meant to use your gifts, develop them into talents, pursue your purpose, and experience your destiny. So be destiny-minded today. Remember, it's election day in a country that would not exist if people weren't committed to a purpose and a destiny and they had a vision for something that had never been done before. And people, everyday people fought to make that come to pass. You too can be like that. You too have that opportunity and you must not accept average. Have a great week, you guys. See you online. Thank you for listening to Master Your Mindset Radio. Before you go, if you want to be part of a free online community of like-minded individuals for support, resources, and inspiration as you conquer your limiting beliefs and pursue your purpose, go to elizabethnader.com slash community. That's elizabethnader.com slash community. Or search for Master Your Mindset Academy private group on Facebook. Looking forward to seeing you online.